This is very fun. I love this. Matt! Okay, so I'm sure everybody says this, um, but Matt is the human Google, and we love him for it. But I... Matt's one of the only other people who would get up early and go to the gym with me in the morning. So we always used to talk about everything. And uh, I would always just tell him, Matt, just tell me about something. Tell me about a theory that you've read or whatever you've heard. And we wouldn't even have to play music or do anything at the gym because I'd just be entertained by Mr. Daddario himself. Cat! Kitty cat! Oh, kitty cat. Um, I, she's great, you know. I We've been working side by side for almost four years now. She's like a little sister to me. I love her. She is the nicest person. Uh, she's always, you know, making sure that everyone's taken care of. And she give, gives the nicest gift. The nicest gifts. Gifts. I can't even talk anymore. It's like three in the morning my time. Okay, so anyways, you guys get it. Okay. First person is Will Tudor. Will Tudor is actually from a small town in Kansas. His whole British presentation is an act. He is a fraud, he's a liar, but he's a good man. And I forgive him for his sins. He's a great Kansas gentleman. Anna. Okay, Anna, one of my, one of my um, favorite things about Anna is she likes to um, listen to playlists to get herself into character. I don't know if she does this with all of her characters, but she definitely does it with Lilith. It's just sort of wander off and plug in and, uh, and listen to it. But she either broke her phone or it was stolen or something one day, um, but she still wanted to listen to her music. So she brought her laptop in and she was just sort of walking around listening to her music, and, but had this entire laptop like, like wandering around the, the sound stage, which is really odd but like really cool that that is her process and that's what she needs to do you know so it was yeah it was kind of cool jade i love jade i met jade for the first time i it, we all stay in a hotel in toronto and i was walking down the corridor and i had watched the show before i started on it and so um i was so excited to meet him and he was walking, he had no idea who I was because uh, had, we hadn't met yet. And um, he had like all these bags and he had a guitar and he was walking down the corridor and I was like, Million! And I was like, oh God, oh God, no, I've ruined it. Now he thinks I'm a fan. Um, and because he's so lovely and warm, he was like, he like dropped everything and just like hugged me. He's like, you must be Luke. I'm so excited to meet you. That's my story about Jade. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna land on me and then I could really a fun fact. Uh, right, Alberto, okay. Um, during filming, our um, filming days didn't really correlate very much. So um, we, we didn't cross over very much at the beginning. Oh, well, I mean, in terms of filming, we didn't cross over very much at all. And so it was actually later on in the shoot that I got to know him better. And he was one of those people that what I did see of him, I very much thought that I need to be friends with this guy because you know I think we're actually very very similar um, and what a what a good guy it's a pleasure to know all these guys really but uh, you know I, I I've Alberto's is brilliant yeah what a nice guy and we're off oh my gosh can I give an anecdote about something that happened this week first of all he's been riding a scooter all around Paris um, just looking around, having fun, and uh, we went to we went to a restaurant, and <laughs> he he ordered he ordered a steak, but he didn't he didn't he didn't read what it said underneath. So when it came, it was a steak for like six people, and it was a plate this size. And they brought it with six plates and they put it down and we were all like, what? And he was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And uh, so all of us ended up eating his dinner. He ordered literally a steak the size of a cow that six people had to eat. It was hilarious. The other thing I love about David is his voice. And the first time I met him, he was like, I'm David Castro. And I was just like, oh my gosh, wow. He has the most incredible voice, yeah. Oh, Nicola. Um, let's see, Nicola is an amazing actress. We worked, um, you know, a couple scenes where we were actually like a team where we were finding, trying to find a, a couple clues to what was going on with, um, there's these blood trails that Clary left. And so like her and I would kind of, you know, work at work this cool thing. out. And, and what we what were, was gonna happen if the show was gonna go on was she was gonna run the bookstore with Luke. 
So that would have been like a cool kind of nod to the books because, as you know, Luke was a book bookstore owner in the books. So. Oh, that's my head. Ooh. Well, well, fun fact, today's the first day that I met him. <laughs> the first scene that we shot together, well, together when I'm in the church um, holding Will, he did that scene the day before with a double for me. And then when I did it, it was a double for him. So I was working with an actor that looks just like Will, but wasn't Will. <laughs> um, so we were really looking forward to meeting each other and we did this morning. David Castro. David Castro always arrives five minutes before an appointment. Five minutes exactly. If it's six minutes, he returns home. If it's four minutes, he cries and returns home. This is just a fact about David Castro. It is not a judgment of him. It is not an opinion. It is just a fact. There's just something about him. You understand? Harry. Uh, one of my favorite memories with Harry is we, uh, we did a scene, I think in season two of Shadowhunters, where... Um, when we did it and they blocked the scene and the director went back to finishing the scene he was currently shooting and Harry and I, he looked at me and he was like, do you think we got it? I was like, I, I don't know, it didn't feel like, um, it didn't feel there. So we rehearsed it again, we broke down every beat and we changed it slightly and then it made so much more sense. We, we talked to the director and we were like, hey, can we, we had a new idea that we think makes it feel like, like a thing, not choppy. And he was like, all right, let's see it. And we did it. And the director's like, love it. That's way better. So, uh, yeah, amazing artist. So really cool to work with him. I am this person. And that is a fact about Matthew Daddario. This has been a lovely time. It couldn't have gone any better. You loved it. <laughs>